Alright, welcome back to the channel, you beautiful people. Today we're using FIFA 22 to predict the upcoming Premier League season. FIFA 22 is the absolute perfect software for doing this as it accurately replicates real life decisions. Its AI definitely doesn't act like a six year old kid who plays Jaden Sancho at CDM and buys 10 players who all play the same position. Okay, but seriously, even though it's one of the most scuffed games on the planet, there's no other option. So today we're using it. We're gonna see the champion, runner up, top four, relegated, golden boot, assist boot. I, I don't know what it's called. I've made all the significant transfers like for example Spurs they got Basuma now long late Paris is with Charleston on the bench I also created a whole human being Andres Pereira wasn't in the game so I was like like I was doing his jawline and stuff like yo that was crazy anyway how this is gonna work is I'm gonna simulate through the season multiple times over and over the first season I'll show you the most stuff and then after that we're gonna go faster and faster and at the end of it all I'm gonna give you all the stats like average league position average points average goal scored all of that real quick please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and let's get into it all right checking in at the start of the season six games games in and Everton is leading the league what the hell Chelsea second Liverpool third okay that's a little bit more normal then it's Wolves Villa Newcastle who are all having great starts all right where are the big boys that are missing Spurs are seventh United and City are 10th and 11th and Arsenal are 14th Mohamed Salah like usual getting out to a great start six goals and six Kane up there as well in second then it's Grealish and Demarai Gray where the hell is Holland where the hell is Nunez oh yeah one more thing is I disabled the summer transfer window so you're not gonna see like Lewandowski randomly or something Something. All right, halfway through the season now, the table is looking a little bit more standard. Chelsea are first by one point, then it's Spurs, who are still undefeated behind them. United and City make up the rest of the top four. Villa is still having a really nice season, and Liverpool's a little bit low in six. Everton, after the fast start, are now in ninth, tied with Arsenal, who are doing horribly in tenth. Looking at the newly promoted sides, Bournemouth and Forest are not doing too well, but Fulham is doing really great in 11. Southampton's bringing up the rear with 11 points. Harry Kane's taking the lead in the Golden Boot. He's got 16 goals in 20 games. Salah's one behind him with 15. Then it's Coutinho and Rashford doing really well, 13 each. I'm looking for any surprises, any of the big signings. Jesus has seven. He's in 21st for Arsenal. But show the marquee dogs, Holland, Nunez, Sterling, all missing. Holland's only got five goals. What? Where's Nunez at? Nunez got Nunez got one. And then Raheem. Okay, no, Raheem's doing really well. He's just he just isn't scoring too many. Seven goals, 11 assists. And speaking of assists, he is leading that one with 11. His teammate Warner's behind him with seven. Oh, you know why Holland isn't doing his thing? It's because City's formation in FIFA has a center forward and not a striker. Okay, I'm gonna fix that for next season. All right, and now it's the end of the first simulation and the table has not changed at all since the halfway point. Chelsea won the league, Spurs, United City are the top four. Aston Villa are the surprise package of the season in fifth and it's Liverpool with a very disappointing time in sixth. Leicester, Wolves, West Ham, Crystal Palace, Everton. Then you finally get to Arsenal in 12. Here's the bottom half, not gonna read through everything. Highlights are that Fulham stayed up and Forest stayed up, and the teams that were relegated are Southampton, Bournemouth, and Brighton, all on 27. Kane and Salah tied for the Golden Boot, both had 25 goals. Rashford with a great bounce back season with 23. Jimenez out of nowhere with 21. Same thing with Demarai Gray. New signing for Forest, Awoniye did really well with 15 goals. He's in 13th, and I think that's the only new signing in the top 25. Assist wise, Sterling won it with 12, then De Bruyne, Werner, Fernandez all tied for second behind him. All right, well we now know why Holland and Nunez are doing bad, but Jay. Zeus, like he's got no excuse. Let's check in on it. Oh my God, Jesus does have an excuse. He's a right wing. Why? Why is he a? Why is he a right winger, man? All right. Anyway, there's the end of the first sim. I'm gonna go make some quick edits, and we're gonna go a lot faster from here. All right. Halfway through the second simulation, and as you can see, there is a very close title race between six different teams. One through six are separated by two points, and all three newly promoted sides are doing well this time. Forest is 14th, Bournemouth 16th, Fulham 17th. Danny Ings, Timo Werner, and James Madison in a three-way tie for the Golden Boot right now with 15. Okay, and now we see Holland and Jesus up there. They're fourth and fifth with 13 and 12 respectively. And now it's the end of simulation two. The title race did open up a little bit, but in the end, it was Liverpool that took it. Arsenal 10 positions better than simulation one than it's City and Leicester with a nice season to round out the top four. Chelsea, Spurs a little bit disappointed. West Ham, Man U did really badly in eighth. Wolves, Aston Villa. And two of the three newly promoted sides actually stayed up in Forest and Bournemouth. But Fulham went down in last place alongside Southampton and Brighton. Timo Werner top scorer with 27 goals. Nah, yo, that's how you know this is simulation. Holland in second place doing Holland things. He got 24. Then it's James Madison, Jesus tied for third with 21. Nunez just sneaking in there at 25th. Okay, I see you with 12. Assist wise, Odegaard took it this time. He had 13. Sancho two behind him with 11. Son, Kane, and Gray all had nine. Sterling nowhere to be seen this time. Let's check on Sterling real quick. Oh my, what the what the hell happened to this man? He must have like torn his ACL or something. Okay, third 
Spurs simulation is done now and my biggest dream has come true. Spurs have won the league. Antonio Conte's worked as voodoo magic. Spurs win their first trophy in 45 years. Man City, Liverpool, Man United all had good seasons, finished top four. And Aston Villa again with a surprise up here in fifth. Chelsea are sixth, Arsenal are seventh. And rounding out the bottom, Bournemouth barely survived but at the expense of Brentford, Fulham, and Forest. Golden boot this time was Salah with 30. Oh my god, that is that. Oh, yo, that's a crazy amount. And anyway, Warner's up there again. Ings, Wilson, Kane, Son. Nunez wins the battle of the new signings this time. He's got 17 in ninth place. And Kane was a top assister with another pretty big number 15. All right, that's the final individual season I'm going to go over. Now I'm going to simulate a couple more times all the way through and I'm going to get all the stats. Okay, so I just finished my sixth and final simulation. I decided to do three more. And we'll start with some individual players I tracked throughout this whole process. Specifically, the five new big attacking signings in Holland, Jesus, Nunez, Sterling, and Richarlison. Like, I didn't really want to look at established players. Like, for example, you know Mohamed Salah is going to be sick and you know Nicolas Pepe is going to be trash. So I tracked all their goals except for that first season where I kind of messed things up and here's the result. Jesus averaged 18 goals, Holland 13.8, Nunez 12.2, Sterling 7.67, and Richarlison with 6. Next we'll go to the individual awards starting with the playmaker of the year. Sterling won season 1 with 12, then it was Odegaard 13, Kane 15, De Bruyne 14, De Bruyne again with 11, and then Tielemans with 10. De Bruyne won it the most with 2, everybody else tied for 1, and the average amount of assists you needed to win was 12.5. And then for the big dog, the golden boot, in season 1 it was Kane Salah with 25, season 2 Warner 27, then Salah with 30, and then Vardy with 21. And a three-way tie between Ronaldo, Werner, and Jesus, they all had 22, and then Ronaldo being his selfish self said, give me that myself, he had 27. Salah, Werner, and Ronaldo both won it twice, Kane, Jesus, Vardy each won it once, and the average goals you needed to win it was 25.3. Now for the team stats, starting with the goal difference, I'm not going to read out every single one, but you know, I'm just going to read out the highlights. Liverpool were best here with 35.3, then it was Man City 34, Spurs 31, Man United 28.1 to round out the top four, Chelsea 22.3, Leicester 17.7, Arsenal 14.8 behind the bottom five are Leeds with negative 20.5, Brighton with negative 23, Southampton with negative 23, Forest with negative 26, and Bournemouth with negative 33. And then for what I think is the second best indicator, the average league position. Man City went in here with 2.5, then Liverpool 2.8, Spurs 3.3, and Man U 3.8. Same five through seven as a goal difference, just a little bit out of order. Chelsea with 5.1, Arsenal with 6.3, and Leicester with 7. And the bottom five this time is Brentford with 16, Forest with 17, Southampton 17.3, Bournemouth 18.3, and Brighton 18.7. And then here's what I believe is the best measure, the average point score. And here Liverpool wins it with 78.5, Man City very close behind 78.3, Spurs 77.2, Man U 73.8, Chelsea 70.7, Arsenal 64.3, Leicester 62.5. And bottom five here is Southampton 32.5, Forest 32.2, Brentford 31.5, Five, Bournemouth 29.3 and Brighton 27.5. And then finally for some raw numbers, the relegated teams. Brighton got relegated five times, Southampton and Bournemouth four times, Fulham and Forest two times and Brentford only once. And then for the league winners, Liverpool and Spurs each won it twice and then Man City and Chelsea each won it once. Alright, so basically my conclusion from this, Spurs are title contenders and Arsenal suck. I like that. I like that. And apparently Brighton are just completely screwed despite finishing ninth last season. Now, but for real though, going off average points, this isn't too bad. Like I could see that top collection and the teams all being together in real life maybe just move Spurs and United down a little bit Arsenal and Chelsea up a little bit but yo thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed like and subscribe if you did comment ideas for future videos share the video to people who you think would like it if you want to and I'll see you in the next one